Today we're gonna learn how to make the crispy skin duck breast. For this dish, we have skin on duck breast. We start with a cherry red wine demi, fondant potato, cream leeks, and a grilled baby leek. With the duck breast, you wanna score the skin. It's gonna help it from buckling and let it cook a little more evenly. On the back side, I like to take this little tenderloin off. You don't need a knife. You can see where it separates naturally. You can pull it right off. This is a great snack. You can make a chicken finger, but out of the duck tenderloin instead of a chicken one. So you season it with a little bit of salt and pepper on either side. Get that in the pan and bring your heat up to medium low. As our duck breast is working, we'll go on to the garnish for this dish. So you get a little bit of oil, and we'll start with the fondant potato. And you're gonna go straight down in that oil and just let it rest. What we wanna see is a little bit of caramelization happening on either side of the fondant potato. And as that happens, we'll turn it once and then we'll baste it with butter to get the center of that potato warmed up. And with the leeks, you wanna have a medium high pan. Start with just a touch of oil. So get these in the pan with a little bit of salt and pepper. And again, with these, you don't wanna to get too much color on them. They've already been blanched, so you're just looking to season them properly and bring them up to temperature. And you can see already, we didn't start with any oil in this pan. That's all natural duck fat there. Once we have the leeks warmed up a bit, we're gonna add our heavy cream and allow that to reduce. The fat in the cream will actually allow the leeks to bind and get a nice, tight, rich sauce to complement the fat in the duck and the fat from the confit potato. And I can see already I'm starting to get some color on that fondant potato, so it's time to flip. And that's about what you're looking for. When we go to butter base, you're gonna get a little more even color in the center of that potato there. And as this is rendering, you can see the duck wants to push up, but because we scored the skin, it's not going to buckle. It'll cook nice and flat, and that skin will get nice and crispy. When you're cooking with cream like this, you just wanna be careful not to scorch the pan. So that's why we keep it on a medium low heat, allow the moisture to evaporate from the cream, and then that'll tighten up onto the leeks and make it a nice bundled, almost like a cream spinach. So my potato is just about nice and even on this side. So we'll get a little bit of butter in the pan and start to baste it out. And I'm gonna come over the potato, but also along the sides, so I can ensure that that middle is heated up through as well. And now I can see that my butter is starting to brown, so it's time to get this potato out of the pan. We're gonna allow this duck breast to sit on its belly side for about two minutes, let it rest, and then it's finished. We're gonna reduce these leeks just a touch more, and also heat up our sauce. So this is a red wine demi that we've added Washington State cherries to. Cherries and duck, such a classic pairing. In the meantime, we can season our baby leek with a little salt and pepper and olive oil, and lightly grill it on our grill pan. We can get our duck breasts out of the pan, brush it with a touch of the red wine demi, and then finish it with the five spice. And we'll allow that to rest and for the residual heat to bring it up to medium rare. So our leeks are tightened up. You see how much that cream reduced? So we can start with these on the plate. Essentially, we're gonna make a little bed for our duck to lay on once it's sliced. Then we're gonna get that fondant potato right at 10 o'clock. Pull our baby grilled leek. Lean that across your potato. And then we're gonna slice the duck. So there's two ways to do it. Some people like to come on the skin side. I like to flip it and go from the bottom. It's a little easier to get through the flesh than through that skin. You just spent so much time getting that nice and crispy. You don't want to affect that. We're going to come down at a bit of an angle so that we can fan the duck out on the presentation. And we always call these end pieces here the chef's neck. This is how we eat throughout the day. We take these little tail pieces that the customer doesn't get. So you look at this duck, cooked a nice medium rare, nice and fanned out on the plate, and we're gonna finish with that cherry red wine demi. And this is our crispy skin duck breast. Delicious. Hey guys, if this video made you hungry, we have more recipes on our YouTube channel. 
Check it out, click subscribe, and get cooking.